Great Britain, as you know, is a country known for its prison, convicts, oh. crime, oh. more recently, Brexit. Because we had an empire, and then it was gone. And then America <laughs> had had a bigger and better economy and everything. Oh, you could be However, you can't forget the most famous British national of all time. <laughs> well, if it isn't Saucy Jack. Mm. When viewing the set figure, it is evident that such measures taken by Sentinel are superb. It won't be Jack the Ripper without that oh so lolly like face. A face so cute that even her arch enemy is most likely to forgive her. But don't be fooled, even this beauty can't persuade everyone. Master Skywalker, they're everywhere! What are we gonna do? And when closely monitoring the body, now you're just being nasty. <laughs> Moving down, Jack here is more or less an exhibitionist desiring to show as much skin as possible. This is primarily with the little bastard. And as expected from a lolly, the legs are short but stubby. As both a lolly and a British, Jack isn't in the tall side with even your average sized Figma acting like Godzilla when next to her. Here's Jack next to Gunpla, Monster Arts, Star Wars Black Series, and When talking about accessories, Jack, just like her anime counterpart, doesn't give much. Firstly, an additional face and, what can I say? The face is the better of the two as the staring at the right alongside the open mouth adds way more expression compared to the mundane vanilla version, making it the default face when posing the set figure. Jack doesn't have many hands as besides these open hands, she also comes with holding hands. At least the holding hands can hold Jack's dual knives. And the knives are superbly detailed without any imperfections as Sentinel stuck to a high standard when regarding quality control issues, making it a perfect weapon when assassinating targets. I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. And let's not forget about the stand. While the stand may look cool, it is far from it, as Firstly, it's massive, even for its own good, as it prevents Jack from posing with other figures. Secondly, the stand only comes with a claw rather than a peg like your Figma stand, as Jack doesn't have a hole to stick it in. And what happens to a girl that you can't stick something into? Uh, that sounded very wrong. She can't stand properly. As my first Sentinel figure, I was worried on whether Jack was a special child or a special child. Luckily, Jack here is a special child. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. The head can move freely. The chest can move, but not by much. Great shoulders. The elbows bend over 90 degrees. The hands are... Alright. Not as good as Figma. Knees bend over 90 degrees. And the feet are very flexible. So, what is there left to say? Sentinel's iteration of Jack is a figure that fits in perfectly with the rest of your 6 inch figures. This is in addition to the superb sculpting and a lack of imperfections when regarding paint job. Such highs cannot disregard the lows, especially regarding the severe lack of accessories alongside the lack of a peg hole that prevents most stands from holding the figure in extreme poses. So, what's the verdict? I'll see if you're a hardcore fake fan or a jack simp, 
get it. But for everyone else, move along, move along. 